What's up, guys? This week we're at UTA's campus and we're going to be passing out just a note cards. And we've got Matthew and we've got Liliana here, and we're just going to really be able to encourage people along the along the way and really be able to show what the power of a handwritten note can do for somebody's day. Um, and we've got popsicles to be able to pass out, and so it's going to be a really fun day. And we're excited to be able to encourage people all day. So thank you guys for volunteering your time, writing some cards, and you guys might actually be wondering how you guys can get involved. To get involved, you can go to cardsforcubs.org. And here you will find a few different things about Cards for Cubs, and you can scroll over to just a note. And here you can click down on the menu and you will see a little bit more about our mission with just a note and how we got started. Here you can then click on the template for just a note and you'll be able to download it yourself. We can't wait to see how you get involved. Hey guys, and welcome to another Barely Art Live. Just as you saw, that was a quick message from Grace talking about Just a Note. Uh, we hope that all of you guys can come and be a part of that mission that we're doing over on Cards for Cubs. Uh, another quick announcement that we have is that we have our certified retailers page up and running. And so if you want to buy locally in your own stores, you can go and see where we're selling those things outside of just e-commerce and all that stuff, uh, outside of Amazon, outside of our website, et cetera. If you're buying internationally, of course, you can do it through Simon Says Stamps. And we have a couple other ones there that are all on that list. And if you don't see your favorite store there, then you can certainly go and put in the information for your local store and we'll reach out to them and hopefully get Barely Art products right to you. Yes. Other Barely Art products we have right now is our Friends of Barely Art products, which right now we have the Wishbone Stamps Holiday Collection are out. So that includes some autumn sunflowers, some uh, Halloween stamps, and some Christmas stamps. So if you guys are interested in stamping or card making or uh, including any of those in your projects, you should definitely go on our site and check those out. It's Wishbone Stamps. Yes, which is a part of Friends of Barely Art. <laughs> That's a good segue. <laughs> so Friends of Barely Art is our program where we work with different influencers and different people and crafters and such who sell their products on the Barely Art website. So if you're interested in that, send us a message and, and, and submit <laughs> the projects and things and the products that you have that you would like to see on there as well. Again, there's just a few people that are up right now. Cactus, though, we have a we have we don't have it here we again. Don't have it I don't here know yet. why we keep forgetting to bring it here. Maybe it will magically appear. Maybe. Maybe it'll <laughs> magically appear in the next couple of, <laughs> of minutes while we go through this. But uh we have something from Whimsical. Here it comes. Wishes. Wishes US. That you'll see on the Barely Art website coming out soon, which is these guys here. These are 3D printed cactus holders for your glue. Bam. Um, but it's better than that. It also allows you to store your glue upside down. It has a little piece of foam on the bottom there. So you can use your glue and it's ready to go whenever you're ready to go, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so all you have to do is take that out. You don't have to have a pen. It'll store just like that straight down. And actually, want to keep it out? We'll keep sure. it out right there. So yes, Friends of Barely Art is on its way. And if you want to be a part of that, let us know. Send us a message. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of friends of Barely Art, uh, we also have our design team who are design team. We're on design team eight now. Um, members have been contacted, reached out, and the announcement for who made it this term uh, will be coming out next week, which I'm super excited about. Yes. So tons of projects to come. A lot of um, few too. new faces <laughs> and a lot of returning faces. Yes. We also have QBs out now, Woo! which everyone was super excited. I was super successful. You guys are uh, really a fan of it, so we're super excited to have that for you guys. It is available on our website, bailey.art. And we will be using it in this craft today. Lots of QBs. You guys have had such a big response with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of the craft today, we have on a wonderful guest crafter um, at Carolina's Creations. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Hello, 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 hello. Thanks for being here with us today. I look really forward to doing this craft with you, and, and this design is pretty, pretty awesome. If I don't yeah, say so myself. we uh, haven't seen you in a while, including maybe look since what we last found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was packed away. We just brought out some of the boxes, and I was like, I have to bring this back on to show. <laughs> Can you believe I, it's been a year? I no, can't. I was like, have we done another one since then? But 
Yeah, the ass was the large one. Yeah, the ass attend on that one made it look really good. Oh, yeah, wiggled. The wiggles. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The wiggles. <laughs> but we have another Halloween craft today, which is what we're doing um, right now. And you guys were the creator of this craft. So tell us a little bit about it, please. Yes, I have the original here as well. So we're going to be making this Ooh. scene shaker favor box. And what I like about it is it's that it's very versatile. So you can use it for your, the teachers, for the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, during the Halloween, there's a lot of different activities at school, at, you know, at church, wherever it is that you might want to go. And you can use it for any of those. Plus... Is it really a craft if it doesn't have glitter and lights? <laughs> <laughs> it has to have the lights. Perfect. That's the thing. It yeah, has got, to. got our little balloons right there. Yes, right? little balloon lights. Our little balloon yeah. lights ready to go. And yeah, it isn't so a craft without you, without lights, lights or motion. Without a little something <laughs> extra, right? There's always got to be something else there. There's always a surprise. That's what makes it fun and interesting. Oh, yes. And we're super excited to be here with you guys and with everyone on here and to assemble it. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, also, if you guys have questions in Spanish, uh, you can certainly ask those questions. We'll get those to you. You know, it might be a little slow, so we'll, we'll rely on you to help us out with that, okay? No, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All right. Well, I think that's everything. Uh, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, Guide well, let in. me flip it over. I'm a little old school, so I have to flip oh, the you're phone fine. over. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Let's start. You're good. Let me see. There you go, that right see. there. Bam. I want to use it. You can use it. <laughs> <laughs> we have the beehive, too. Yes, we do have the beehive as well. Ta-da! All right. Very nice. Yes. All right, so can you guys see pieces me? pieces here. Yes. Yes. We can certainly see you there. Okay. Okay. There's quite a few pieces Let me here. know. If that's a good angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, that's perfect. perfect. Okay. We can see each other well. All <laughs> yes, right. Yes. So we like to have everything kind of organized to make the assembly a little bit easier. Of course. So we're going to start with the base. Um, okay. And the base is going to have the thicker strip out of the two. And you're going to have two circles as well. Okay. Sounds good. So two of our orange circles here, or whatever color is the back. And then he said yes. two strips. of the thicker strips here. Yes. Let me separate them so you guys can see. We always like to label which piece we're working with um, so we know where we're going to place it while we're assembling. The outside piece is always a little bit bigger than your inside piece because it has to overlap enough to cover the tabs. I see. I see. Outside so piece the, a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in the file, you're going to have base O or base outside and then base I for base inside. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Is there any okay. difference between those two and sizes? Between or? the two circles? Mm -hmm. Yes. The outside's a little bit bigger. Okay. Just a little bit. It's a small difference, a, but it is just noticeable tad, if you didn't yes. label it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we didn't label ours, so we're using our <laughs> eagle eyes here to... <laughs> I'm going to say this is my outside. Okay, outside is bigger, right? Slightly, yes. Slightly yes. bigger outside. I'm Slightly gonna say, bigger. Which one do you think? This <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Are these different? I'm just mixing. Okay, I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say the back It's okay. We're, we'll figure, figure it out. Guess. We'll get it done. I'm going to guess. I was going to guess this one. You're going to guess that one? This is my guess. This one's outside? That's my guess. Okay. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm going to guess that too. <laughs> okay. All right, this is my outside. This is my, all right. outside and inside. Got it. Yeah, because the outside is going to obviously go on the outside, and then the piece that's inside, it's going to make a little bit more sense when we assemble. But the the base inside is basically what's going to give this strip our shape and make it a lot easier to assemble rather than just having a flimsy strip. I see. I see. Got okay, it. that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Okay. Yeah. So walk okay. us through here. What should we do first? So I'm going to set those two circles aside now okay. that I know which is which, and then we're going to get started on our two strips. Okay, two strips first. 
Here we go. I can go ahead and get rid of my little sticky. Uh -huh. So for this step, you're going to need either a wooden dowel, a, a craft tool, or as Jeremy pointed out, an expo marker. Yes. <laughs> Whatever you got. Oh, you're barely out of glue. Maybe that's not quite thin enough, but mm. <laughs> <laughs> whatever well, you have. You, you, you can make it work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of curvature to our strip so that it's easier mm. to assemble. And I recommend that you do that before you fold over all of your tabs. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay, and I like to, I like to do it this way. way. Yeah, right. I put oh, it on okay. a hard surface and pull. Gotcha. Yeah, I do like that. Actually. Towards me or towards yourself. I see, I see. Yeah, so that way you don't have to worry about it being too thin. Like, our dowels are pretty pretty small. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Lord Airplane's taking ASMR. off. There we go. ASMR. ASMR, yes. ASMR, yes. Guess what this is. <laughs> We've got a lot of friendly faces on here. We have Lady D. Bell says, hello, Magic Confetti uh, P, .pe, beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Claudia, 80531. Hola. Uh, Creations, Deary, love that uh, hot, hotter guys. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm guessing it's in the spelling, but hello. <laughs> uh, Magic Confetti <laughs> says beautiful. Angie Molina says hello. Hello, hello. And then Creation Deary says can or we can buy it. I'm not sure what she's referring to because this was a little bit of an older message, but probably, yes. QBs, you can buy the... <laughs> Um, the holder will be soon, and then this product is for free on our website, barely.art. Yes. Yes, wow. go to barely.art, and you will find all that information there, and please explore, <laughs> ignore <laughs> all the noises that are being made. Uh, you, oh, uh, Music Crafter says, oh my gosh, tell Jeremy to keep his hands on his project. Next thing you'll have four mixed up. <laughs> 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 One, two, whatever. One's inside, <laughs> outside. Uh, close. Yes. All righty. All right. Got my curved pieces. Okay, definitely. So now we have our two pieces, and now we can go ahead and fold over all of our tabs. Okay. Perfect. Makes sense. And we're folding them in towards the inside. Inward. Yes. Awesome. Also very important, if you're using textured cardstock like I am, you want to mm -hmm. make sure that you made the curvature so that it, the cardstock that has texture rolls in I your see. texture should always be visible got it it's on the outside yeah makes sense the good thing is is that uh they have made this project thankfully jeremy proof so jeremy i proof? don't have to worry about that <laughs> Yeah, me personally, I always was so scared to work with these strips because, you yeah. know, this is also what you use to make shakers. Right, so yeah. I was always just old school with foamies. But the mm -hmm. way my mom does it, where you have your two pieces, you mm -hmm. lose that fear of getting the wrong shape, of having to change gotcha. yeah. too much, right. too little. It's all mm -hmm. perfect, good to go. Perfect. I like that. Yeah, I've seen a lot of so people Jeremy kind of transition proof. into this. <laughs> so Jeremy proof. So Jeremy proof, yes. <laughs> All right, there okay. we go. Got our pieces. There we go. Oh, bam. bam. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> bam. There we go. Right. Everyone's okay. doing great so far. Oh, yay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're going to notice that at the end of your strip, you're going to have a tab. Now, those are there just to guide you. They're not mm -hmm. there so that you fold over. Gotcha. Okay. So you're going to, if it might be easier to show this way, you're going to glue both tabs together within those markers. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Two okay. Yes. So that way it's a perfect union rather than having it overlap or not match. Nice, and yes. you really don't have to do much. It's done for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Cool. Make Alrighty. it nice and take right a little there. bit longer. Okay, so put a little bit of glue on top of that. Ooh, damn. While you guys do that, I'm going to go ahead and translate really quick to Spanish. Mm -hmm. yes, Perfect. Of go for it. 
Ok, chicas, los tocan en español ahora muy rapidito. Cualquier cosa, si después tienen alguna pregunta, me dejan saber. Ahorita lo único que hemos hecho, hemos separado nuestros dos círculos. Muchas de ustedes ya saben que tienen la base de afuera o base O y la base de adentro, base interior. Estas dos piezas tienen que ser separadas y tienen que tener nombre porque son un poquito diferentes cuando se refiere al tamaño. La parte que va afuera, obviamente va a ir afuera y va a cubrir todas las tiritas. Y la parte que ve adentro es un poco más pequeña porque va adentro y es lo que los va a dar la forma. Ya las tenemos con el nombre, ahora las vamos a mover con las dos tiras. Las dos tiras, como vieron, lo único que tienen que hacer es darle un poquito de movimiento. Usen algo circular para que no le arrugue el papel. Y después de que hayan eso, hecho eso, entonces pueden doblar todas estos, todos estos dientecitos. Y como les estaba diciendo Jeremy y Andrea, estas tiras tienen dos marcadores aquí al final. No es para doblar, sino que para que ustedes sepan que ahí es donde va la unión. Y ahí no se pasen o le queden muy cortas. Y eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahora. Okay, so now we can go ahead and glue our union. All right. Awesome. Sounds... Try to abbreviate as much as I could. Oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Speak incredibly well and quickly. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to that one. Good. Yes, the headphones were caught on my knee. Oh, uh, yes. Headphones. I like They're to nice. use a little pin here. Oh, we have the same just ones. Just to hold it in place. Oh, Hiding somewhere. There we go. Wait, I just took them away. You took them away. Yes, I, I didn't think you were going to. Oh, wait, no, no, I didn't no. because I used them for the. That's okay. Yeah. They'll magically appear again in a, in a moment or two. They were here. <laughs> They will appear for your very eyes. Oh, wait, here's one. <laughs> I have one. See, one. One close pin. There we go. I think we might get away with just having the one. I have one as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it work. Okay, sounds good. I have a, a, a slightly bigger There one. we go. There we go. Look, the close ones magically appeared. Boom. Magic. <laughs> okay, maybe they won't appear. My magic oh, power seems to be off this for today. Okay, so now we're going to glue the next one. Yes. All right, so we're closing the circle now. Close the yes. circle. Now oh, I can feel I can feel the powers working. Magical. Wow! Look at that. that. Yes. We got them. <laughs> They're just a little. The powers are a little These slow are cuter, today. These are so I'm going to use this. <laughs> oh. A little. Yeah, I like them. All right, closing the circle. Up. Closing the circle. Yeah, I like that technique there that you guys have of uh, using the tabs but not folding it over. <clears throat> yes. And, I, mm -hmm. and at first When I was like, there's one score mark here. It's like, ah, I should fold it. Like, maybe I should. <laughs> so I did it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I was the glad same way. You followed your instincts. <laughs> there you go. You could trust the process. We trust Just you. Trust we the trust process. you. <laughs> trust the process. I see. Okay. okay. Boom. Now, before this dries, We're going to go ahead and bring over our circle labeled base inside because remember, this is what's going to give us that shape. So we want to make sure that it fits in perfectly and it brings oh, the texture see. always visible. Got it. So we're send this inside or on the okay, inside? Base inside. So base we have inside. the tab Oops. at the bottom <laughs> from the top. Immediately messed up. Okay, okay we're good. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Hey, that's a good fit. Look at that. There we go. Uh -huh. Now let's I hope I... I get a good fit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, Andrea picked the right one for me. So. I, think... I can't tell if I picked the right one for me. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah. Now good. make sure fit. you guys are testing yours just that you are using the base inside piece so that we are getting mm -hmm. the same sizing. I see. Okay. So I'm going to keep that one closer. But we're like, stay here. <laughs> stay with me. This is our inside piece. That was smart. I should have done what you did. <laughs> All, All right, right, now we're just gluing up the tabbies. Glue, and sorry, guys. Big head's got to get ahead. Oops. With your big head. Yes. Perfect fit here as well. It. Now, it might be easier to fold over, see if there's any that aren't gluing, and just apply the pressure as you go. Mm-hmm. Use that the same sucks. wooden dowel as well. That helps. 
Got it. How'd you go so fast? Because I got my big head in the way. <laughs> uh. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna press. I'm gonna press down this way first, and I'll flip it over, and make sure all that's nice and aligned. But I like this. I like this technique uh, to actually make something round. Man, this actually went really easily. <laughs> so anytime yeah, you do something it's a, round, it's it's a pain. It gets wonky. Yeah, it gets wonky. Fast. It's not really round anymore. So this is a, this is not true. Right. It doesn't go. Yeah, and this is like perfect. Oh. Yeah, and then the good thing is, since you have the file, you can use the same file to yeah. make different items. Yeah, I like that. Oh, no, she used her Dell. I wanted to participate. In the Dally? Yes. Okay, <laughs> joking. All right, got that. Hey, that was, that was Now, cute. we can go ahead and flip it over, and don't <laughs> worry if you see glue. That's going yeah. to happen. That's right. also a great... Um, a great, I would say, an addition. Not an addition, but it's great to have this piece for multiple reasons. One of right. them, hiding your oopsies. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hide the mistakes. Hide the mistake yeah. piece. Gotcha. So okay. now, go over any tabs that aren't fully glued down, if there is any. That final little pressure. Mm -hmm. And now, very carefully, add glue. Ooh. I just refilled my glue, so <laughs> yeah, <you're good. laughs> I'd go all the way around. Try to avoid the edges so that when you apply the pressure, it does not smear outside of mm -hmm. the inner circle. It kind of looks like tiny pumpkin pies. It does look like with tiny the, pumpkin I'm pies. Gonna, I'm gonna like the little whipped cream dots. Oh yeah, I love I love adding my glue with dots. I don't know, but it makes it easier in my opinion. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And base outside, the biggest piece out of the two circles. Boom. <laughs> so base, the bigger, slightly bigger circle on the bottom there. Gosh. And then apply pressure. 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 All right. Here, let me clean like we're my desk. I know. This, this, feels, this feels kind of like we're Cake. like we're making a crust or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a dessert. Well, you Scrappers can. <laughs> For go. Thanksgiving, you can make a few of these circular shapes, these little boxes, mm -hmm. and here's your piece of yeah. pie. Go home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> These are good stands, Cute. too, actually. Yeah, they're pretty sturdy. Oh, hey, here's pie. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Here's pie. 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 It's a pie stand. Yes. I'm making crusts. <laughs> Okay. There we okay, and you see how perfect our circle is and yeah. how sturdy it is? Yes. Yes. It's super sturdy. So that extra step, even though it is an extra step and it adds at like what two minutes, you've mm -hmm. made this entire process a million times easier. Agreed. And it looks better. Agreed. Love it. There we go. So let me translate to Spanish really quick. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> That's good. Uh, let me see. Okay, chicas. Ahora sé que deben estar un poco poco confusas, lo que estamos haciendo es básicamente cerrando la base de nuestra cajita. Recuerden, base y, y de puntito es la base que va adentro, la más pequeña. Base O, como está en el fallo, es la que va a ir afuera. Van a unir sus dos tiras justo donde están los dos marcadores para que le alinee perfectamente. Después van a agregar la base interior, la más pequeña, pero traten de hacerlo rápido antes de que se les haya secado completamente la unión, porque si tienen que hacer unos cambios, ese sería el único tiempo que tienen para hacerlo. Después de que ya han hecho eso, van a poner la base o base de afuera, aquí, que va a cubrir todos los dientecitos y también va a sellar nuestra base. Y ahí tenemos ya completamente la base hecha. Y recuerden, si usan cartulina de textura, siempre tiene que ser visible. Textura por afuera, textura de adentro es visible. Okie dokie. <laughs> all right. I think we got our bases all set here. Let's see. Yes, you guys are doing a great job, by the way. Yay. Thank you. That's all lined up, too. It's so pretty. It is pretty. 
a lot of appreciation for this yeah. design <laughs> compared to some of the other ones we've done. I know. Now I'm rethinking every circular project we've ever done. Yeah, exactly. Like, why typically we like... just do tabs, then we just try to glue the tabs on yeah, perfectly. And it's looking like this. Yeah, like, exactly. Why isn't it working? But yeah, the inner inner piece makes a lot of sense to do. Yeah, it's... Even letters. It, it makes all the difference. <laughs> All right. So now you guys have it. Now you guys know. And then yes, you guys you know can secrets. make new projects. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to pull out all of our images. Okay. Our little all witch, our the images, moon, yeah. lots of cows. Mm -hmm. So let's get those going. Oops. Mm -hmm. Let me put my little house here okay goes I'll, I'll explain the order i was just trying to make sure i had mm -hmm. it right as well there you go grab all those okay yeah this is a good project with all these layers i love all the layers yes. oh, yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, try to be extra careful because the cuts are so tiny. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're Absolutely. going to start off getting the order of our little images first. Okay. So the first piece is going to be the most detailed. It's going to mm -hmm. have almost everything. Our solid moon, our tree, our haunted house, and our pumpkins. Okay. This is the so first Most piece. everything. So this one right here. Right. Like that. Okay. So mm -hmm. everything there. Got it. Followed by the yellow cardstock, which has our little witch. Yellow cardstock with the witch. Very nice. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Then goes this piece, which has a left part of the house, and then our little pumpkins and graveyard as well. So it mm -hmm. should be missing only the right side of the house. Got it. So this piece here. There we go. Top of that. Don't worry about We're winding waving. it up just yet. We just mm -hmm. want to put in order. Yes. Then the white uh, card stock. We got white card stock here. Put that down. Perfect. Now orange. Orange card stock. And now the final black piece, which has just the middle part of the house and nothing else. Just the middle mm. part. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Okay, okay. So that's how our pieces should be layered. Okay. Perfect. Great. Now, without moving the order, we're going to go ahead and set them aside and try to flip it so that mm -hmm. when you bring it over, it lays perfectly. Makes sense. So we'll take this. Careful. Now, here is where you're able to make a few changes. So in the original one, you can see that we ended up using like square foamies. Mm -hmm. So perfect opportunity to use your cubies. Mm -hmm. Or if you prefer, you can use foam sheets and cut them out as well, which is what we did here. So you could see what they both would look like. I see. Very nice. Very nice. Sounds good. Foam and, sheets. And for this one, are we making it so that it's... Uh, completely um like closed like off. closed off or are we just putting cubes on top of it um you would have to put cubes throughout you don't have to put a lot just maybe at the top bottom and then side to side okay okay <laughs> Cool. As I go, I'll I, I would be able to say, okay, here I might need a little bit more stability. Let me add a foam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay, so that I makes start, sense. Yeah, I start little. Yeah, I just didn't know if this part was the actual shaker part of it yet. Yeah, so we're going to make this, and then yeah. this is pretty much going to go on a smaller piece like this one. Uh -huh. And then that's when we're at our glitter and then have that final piece that completely seals off our shaker. Got it. Okay, excellent. Good to know. There we go. Right. So really important here, when you're adding your foamies, you have to pay close attention to the height or the layers of your foamy. For example, here I have one layer, just one layer of a foam sheet. Mm -hmm. But inside for the houses, I had to do two because mm. I'm going to be adding this layer. But by the time I add the second part of the house, I want to make sure that I have an even height. 
I see what's going on there. Okay, makes sense. So uh, inside, when it comes to the houses, you're going to have double the double heights, right? And then right, are you yes. going to have double heights for like the pumpkins at all or no? Not for those. No. Um, yes, for the houses. Uh -huh. Houses the are double. Two yeah, the houses are double and then okay. everything else is fine. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to put some of my double pieces there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Now, if Get you're using pieces. foam sheets, make sure that you're lining it up towards the outer edge so that your foam won't be visible when you finish your shaker. Cool. Like this. And you're going to align these pieces based off of the moon. So our witch yellow cardstock and our black cardstock should line up perfectly. Got it. Okay. And do we want to avoid putting foam in the in these middle parts here, or just, or does it not matter for down here? Um. Yes. Avoid adding foam throughout the entire scenery, except within the haunted house, so that Got it's it. not visible. Okay, perfect. So in that case, I'm just gonna put some foam all the way around, similar to what you did, but we don't have to close it off completely, right? We're, it's not the shaker part of it, so. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, we'll be adding the glitter on later. Got it. Perfect. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, so we'll come around. So let me go over the order in Spanish really mm -hmm. quick, and then yes, I'll absolutely. assemble while you guys add your foamies. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, chicas, la orden de los layers va así. Vamos a empezar con la primera pase, um, parte, perdón, que básicamente tiene a todo. La casa, los bates, la luna, nuestros pumpkins y el árbol. Después va a seguir el layer amarillo que solamente tiene la brujita en la cartulina amarilla. Después va a seguir esta parte que también tiene la casa y nuestras pumpkins, pero la casa nada más va a tener la parte del medio y la parte de, izquierda, de la izquierda. No va a tener la parte derecha de la casa. Después va el layer blanco, que tiene un pumpkin. Después va el layer anaranjado, que tiene las tres pumpkins. Y el último layer va a ser el negro, que nada más tiene la parte del medio de la casa. Como les estaba explicando a ellos, ustedes pueden armar esto de dos maneras. Pueden hacerlo con foamies, con cubbies, o lo pueden hacer con foam sheets. En el original usamos foam squares, pero en este queremos usar foam sheets para que vean que se pueden hacer de las dos maneras. Lo único que tienen que tomar en mente es que cuando están trabajando en este layer de la casa y en este layer, otro layer de la casa, tienen que ponerle en la parte de adentro, en el castillo, dos layers de foam para que se nivele la altura basado de los otros layers. Pero yo les voy a ir explicando y diciendo eso media vaya. Así que con esta parte se fijan nada más una tira o un foamy y van a tener dos aquí para darle doble de altura a la parte del castillo solamente. Ok, so let me right. start gluing. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? Doing all right. Doing good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're doing good. So with the next step here, we're going to put the yellow piece on it, right? Yes. So that's okay. what I'm going to do now as well. Okay. I'm going to take this you guy. Know, my glue. Flip over. I'm going to try and stay on the outer, oh, on the outer edge. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get yeah. my big head in the way for a second. <laughs> So I can align <laughs> this perfectly. Just outer edge here. There we go. So now, first piece, and we're going to add on the second piece, which is the yellow part. It's very important that you get these lined up as perfectly as possible because yes. if they're off by just a little bit, the will <laughs> fit on the box. <laughs> yes, I think that is going to be the hardest part of this. 
And I think Andrea's got the right idea here. <laughs> Trying <laughs> to get it. All the alignment. Stuck. All the alignment. Yeah. It helps if you use the outer rim of the circle as your guider mm-hmm. rather than focusing on the inside. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. See? All right. Got that part of it. Perfect. You guys did good. Now we're going to use so the second black piece. Mm-hmm. Okay. Second black piece there. Uh huh. I see. I see. Okay. I always like to align first and then add the glue so I can get like a general idea of where mm-hmm. I'm going to be placing my pieces. I see. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. Now I'm going to put this down here and hopefully I am aligning everything just so. <laughs> I'm doing it nice and careful. I think, point... that's, I think that's the, the easiest thing to do is just be nice and careful with it. Yes. At this point, we're just hopeful that this comes out right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I have all these little pieces. That's what happens when you have all these little pieces all over the place, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've got those down there. Okay. Now on the inside. Ooh, mm-hmm. a little too much came out. Mm-hmm. And as you can see here on mine, the glue, barely are, is gluing the foam perfectly. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I bring it off a little bit out of camera just so that I can align. Mm-hmm. Match those outer edges. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's all about the alignment here. There mm-hmm. we go. Okay. Now I see. Now I see why the doubles, the double mattered there for the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Let's Which layer are you guys thing. on now? The black? Yeah. Okay. We're on the same layers. Yes. Same layer there. And you had to take a quick break to help someone out the door. Ah, the cutie. No worries. I will, will translate while she her. does. Perfect. Okay. Cuando están pegando, todos sus layers tienen que tener mucho cuidado con el alineamiento. Es muy importante que todo se quede perfecto, porque si no están alineadas, no solo del medio, sino que por la parte de afuera, recuerden, esto es un inserto. No le va a caber dentro de la tira que hemos creado para que quepa dentro de la casa. Así que asegúrense que esté centrado en los layers y por afuera. A mí personal, personalmente me gusta guiarme por la parte de afuera del círculo. Entonces yo lo estiro para asegurarme que todas estas partes estén alineadas perfectamente y después muevo si es necesario para alinear el centro aquí. Todo tiene que alinear perfectamente. Yo creo que de toda la caja esta es la parte más importante y en la parte donde tienen que tener un poquito más de precisión. Lo demás hay espacio para arreglar, pero aquí sí enfóquense mucho en eso. There we go. We will wait for Andrea to come mm-hmm. back, and then we'll do the following layers. Right. Sounds good. And Almost I'm being there. I'm being a little bit oh, of a perfectionist. Oh, yes, I'm I am physically I am back. She's back. <laughs> but I'm on <all laughs> catching up in the layer. Yes, I'm being a little bit of perfectionist because I must have lied to just Ted, so I'm just gonna trim <laughs> a little bit off here. You guys can't see. It'll be edited out on the live. You know, that's how that works, right? <laughs> we add a blur effect for one time. Blur. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Just a little bit. Remember, there. we're okay. going to be. Oops, sorry. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to say, make sure that you're building upward. Your layers are going to be built upward. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. There we go. Just had a hair. A Jeremy, hair I think you're doing it the three. other way around. This way, right? Okay, so the mom mom said you're putting it on the base and it has to be on the lid. On the lid. Oh, I think she means uh, uh, this. You're using this right here, but it's this is slightly oh, bigger. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, that's on true. Lid, which is okay, yes, that's true. Okay, should be good. Yes. Okay, fix. Okay, fixed. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah, fixed. 
<laughs> got a lot of laughing faces and whatever works in the in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> whatever works. As long as it as long as it glues onto the other piece, right? <laughs> that's that's right. <laughs> We're all hopeful here. We don't We're exactly. all hopeful. Like at the end. Oh yes, exactly. <laughs> I think I, got, I believe we got in us. This. We, we got, got it. We got it. Easy. All right. I think I'm caught up ready now. Ready to move so. on to the next. Yes. Yes. Let's go on to the white. <laughs> Perfect. Now on to the white. Correct. Mm-hmm. All right, so white piece there. Yes, and good tip about the flipping everything over too. That makes it so much easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it helps. To deal with. So then you shouldn't have too many mistakes. And should we, uh, is there any place that we need to double up on for this one? So for the black layer, this middle mm-hmm. black layer, you need to mm-hmm. double up as well. And this will be the last piece that we need to double up. Okay, so on the, okay, for the haunted house. On the yeah, just on the center the because side. remember okay. the last layer only has right. the middle part of the house. Oh, okay, yes. I get, it. I got you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm understanding now. <laughs> <laughs> understanding the madness. <laughs> yes, it makes more sense as I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like, agree with oh, you at first, but now I see it. <laughs> oh yes, exactly. Like at the video, like wait, what? I don't know what what's going on, and now I get it. <laughs> yes, same here. I was like, I believe. I believe in you. Just have faith. Gonna do what you say. Just have faith in Adriana. We're good to go. See, I'm doubling up on the house. Let me get my extra thick QB squares. There we go. Okay. Chicas, recuerden que van a estar doblando, o bueno, poniendo doble foamy las partes del medio de la casa. El primer layer negro teníamos dos foamies en la parte de la casa, y este layer negro es el último que le tenemos que poner doble foamy solo dentro de la casa. Mm-hmm. Okay, dokie. Are we going to layer the orange? Almost. Just Doing about. Almost there. Just doubling up our okay. castle right, here and just in the middle. So add one QB there. Let's see if I and can. One QB there. This bit. You got this, I believe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming along. It's it coming is along. coming along. It's just the center. I like how this project's like layer by layer, it's coming along. Like you see, like exactly. just a little bit of progress each time. Yeah, you're like, wait a so second. Cool. You're like, oh, yeah. Wait. Better and better. Okay. Nice. That's, that's it. Okay. Done right. with the white. Okay. Done with the white. Now mm-hmm. we go on to the orange layer. I got, oops, uh, sorry. Poking. Poking with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the orange layer here. Okay, good. This one's an easy one. I like this one. It's getting <laughs> easier as we go. Yeah, yeah, Cute. for sure. <laughs> Let's get less and less details. Yeah. yeah, when it comes to any projects that you guys have, you know there's always going to be a little special something. So I can't mm. wait till we get that to the light there. Oh, uh, Melanie's sewing spot says, will there be a tutorial for those who are working and can't participate? This live will be recorded and on our Bailey Art YouTube for those of you who have to like hop off now. Um, so just go on there and you can find this live. When it's over, it'll be automatically recorded there. Yep. Well, they almost went backwards. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Gotcha. Yeah, you gotta have all the flipping. Well, gotta remember the flipping. There you go. Put that on there like that. Little threads here and there. Perfect. Okay. Orange layer coming down. This is the part. Always have, okay. to, I have to. I feel like I have to like one eyeball this. <laughs> Get right over yeah. it and like aim. Ready? Ready? Okay. Good. good. Nice. Good. That's good. So far, so good. That's a bright orange one. Jeez. Bright orange one. Nice. Oh, wait. I need to put a few. Right where the pumpkins are. Yes. A little support. A little bit of support there. A wee bit of support. A wee bit. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, yeah. I like You can see the lot. layers even just within the bats. You see how almost every single bat is at a different at a different layer? And yeah. That great depth. I love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you've got bats on the... You've got bats on the house. <laughs> I like the... Uh, I like the little... 
the hands that are happening too in there as well. I'm not sure if you guys could see them, but <laughs> all the hands and the little, little ghosts. Oh, and the great. zombie in the graveyard. graveyard. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. It's probably my favorite part of this one. All right. Oh, good. All all right. Right. We're now in the black layer. Now. Right? Black layer. Yes. Yes, our final piece, and see why that second layering of foamies mm -hmm. comes in. Yes, I do. When we add that final black layer, just the middle. Mm -hmm. Por eso es que tienen que poner doble layer en la parte del medio de la casita, porque si se fijan bien, cuando agregamos ya la última pieza de negro, eso es lo que lo va a dar nuestro soporte, ese doble foamy. Very good. Perfect. Good. I was committed to the square uh, cubies earlier. And <laughs> I was like, mm, this is taking so much. Well, look, Jerry just gets one one little uh, it's strip funny. and it's good. It's I'm funny like, because you want squares and I was like, I'm going to try a square. They're like, this is terrible. Yeah. And I went back. <laughs> all the individual, <laughs> taking off all the individual pieces of the paper. Like, exactly. Mm, like, nah. Strips are better. <laughs> yes. And they're easier to align, I think. Yeah, they're also a little bit thinner um, as far as yeah. like width. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Look at wow. that. Look at that layering going on there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Some good layering. Man. Pat yeah, on the back. Like, pat on the back. <laughs> like, you, like you said, there is so much going on to that. So much detail in this. All right. Perfect. All right. Okay, so now we're going to set this aside and we'll give okay. it some time to dry. Okay. And now we're going to work on, oops, let me put it somewhere where I won't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I tend to ruin things. So I... <laughs> oh my gosh. I fix them though. That's you do, the you do I fix them. <laughs> sometimes I like to learn the That's hard way. That's what matters. Way. All the time. <laughs> Actually, the all the time way. I learn the hard way. Yeah, I can't argue with that. <laughs> It's like, let's try this. And Angela's like, I don't think it's going to work. Like, it didn't work. <laughs> like, yeah. Party Trail Craft says, my QBs are out for delivery and I can't wait. Woo! We have a lot of uh, just like good comments here. Lots of silly faces and ghost emojis. <laughs> I'm glad I'm watching. Heart, I, heart, I, heart, I, I love it. <laughs> Very good. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. Around. All right. Setting this aside here. All right. Boom, boom. Yes, we're going to set these aside. These are the pieces that are labeled lid. So you're going lid. to have two okay. strips. Okay, two strips. Two orange strips, which are a little bit thinner than our original strip. Mm -hmm. So the middle side. We're going to right. have, yeah, you got it. You're going to yes. have the black glitter rim and then okay. another orange piece and the acetate. So this is the little group we're working with now. Hmm. <laughs> you're right on the you're right on the nail jeremy you're gonna go ahead and curl them he's excited to get right. curled. yeah exactly i'm ready to curl <laughs> and see when i say we stocked up on foamies on QB. Yeah. oh my goodness <laughs> you guys did oh wow we ordered we had to order when we were in Texas. We ordered with um, with our friends. So oh, we I got you. Yeah. <laughs> just like, all right, got everything. That's good. Yeah, we got them out pretty darn quick. Hats, hats off yes. to our warehouse team on getting oh, all yeah. that stuff out as fast as possible. I think we had uh, several hundred orders that morning. <laughs> I was like, you guys ready for this? I'm like, yep, we got it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> all right. So yeah, it was a group curled up. Hmm. Okay. And then I'm assuming we're doing the same thing here, right? As before. We're going to bend our tabs in, right? Inwards. Did we uh -oh. lose sound? I think we might have lost might sound. Might have lost sound a little bit. So Hang on, guys. Let me redo this anyway. I curled it the wrong way. <laughs> all good, all good. Yeah, I think we lost audio, at least in our ears. Maybe we're fine on the stream. 
Uh, oh, interesting. There we go. All right. I got my curled pieces. Adriana, we can't hear you right now if you're speaking. Uh, perhaps are you muted? Well, she can hear us, so that's good. She can hear us? Yes. Great. Technical technical difficulties. You guys are good, but the other audio isn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. so it's Adriana who's either muted or... Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and fold these tabbies. Yep. And we are going to get her back here real quick. So just just uh, bear with us real quick uh -huh. as we... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bear with us real quick as we get uh, Adriana back here from Carolina's Creations. She will be back in just a bit. I think uh, the phone probably decided to quit yeah, on her. Yeah, phones so. sometimes do weird things. Yeah, Let's so... See. Well, in the meantime, I've got... In the meantime, comment. they've left me to my own devices. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not okay. Come back. <laughs> Come back quick. <laughs> We've got um, Alexis Delight says, when the double side blue strips come out? Our QBs are out now. QBs are launched. Yes, they are launched on our website, bailey.art. So if you guys want these really cool phone strips, mm -hmm. so we've got uh, strips mm -hmm. and cubes of two different thicknesses. So uh, definitely go check those out. So it's like a bunch. we got a bunch of pieces. That's There's four sheets of just... Extra pieces. 1,248 pieces. <laughs> and we have Adriana back. Well, at Here. least her audio. We have her audio back. <laughs> waiting for her video feed to pop back in. Possibly. Possibly. Can you Possibly. hear me and see me? We can hear you, but we cannot see you quite yet. Yes. I think the okay. guys in the back are bringing you back in. And there, there we, we are. go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're back. Hello. Yes, All right. yes. Excellent. I took the liberty of gluing these two pieces together, so I hope that was right. Oh, dear. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent. I wasn't watching you. Huh? I don't know. I wasn't watching what you were doing, so I was. I came back and was like, I did it. I did <laughs> I it. Know. I did it. Oh, All right. good. Well, so, I mean, he's learning. He's learning quick. Yeah, exactly. He, he See? Carried the he's the fast learner. See? Just Tell me it. how to do it once, and I'll keep doing it. But if it's different, then that's where, then you start that's where the mistakes happen. <laughs> mistakes happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad we have you back here now. Yes. For that short little Thank intermission. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know what happened, but I'm uh, back. Yeah, probably some something kind of freaked out for a little bit, but it's all good. Chicas, estamos haciendo lo mismo que hicimos con la base, uniendo las dos tiras y tenemos los dos marcadores ahí para guiarnos. Okay. All right. We got that drying right now. That's a little thing. Let me move some stuff out of your way so you can see that. So we've got this piece. You guys are just joining us, you can get this SVG on our website, barely.art. Just follow the links and you can find all that stuff. We are here today with Adriana from Carolina's Creations, and she is showing us how to make this wonderful, wonderful piece. This is what we have so far. Yes. Got this nice layered up piece here. And our base. And our base. It can be used as a treat box or, <laughs> or tons remember. of other things. It doesn't matter what you want to use it for, but something for this holiday season, this Halloween season. Spooky season. Spooky season <laughs> coming right up. That's what me and my sister call it. We're like spooky, 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 spooky season. Spooky season. <laughs> spooky spookies are coming your way. And tons of spooky, yes. spooky things. So yes, you can get this. SVG and lots of other SVGs on our website. Oh, yes, for the grand price of... Free! There it is. <laughs> Everyone's right. favorite price. Exactly, yes. Yeah, definitely mine. All free. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we have our base again, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yes. And now you're going to have this little piece right here, right here, <laughs> labeled mm -hmm. lid inside, which is kind of just like a little rim. Gotcha. So because we're working on our shaker, we can't have a full circle. So our mm. rim is thick enough to give us coverage within the tabs. Gotcha. So 
I think that uh, yeah. our rim got a little left out. So just for the sake of keeping it round, I'm just going to put this piece in here just to hold it in place. I think that will kind of help us a little bit, maybe. Let's hope. Yes, <laughs> Let's we'll, we'll keyword. See. We'll <laughs> see about that. Or okay. this is what we can do. Is I can borrow Andrea's piece. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. I'm gonna borrow Andrea's piece to hold it in. And then I'm gonna or, turn around yeah. and glue the other one. Mm, ah, I see what you're saying. Sense. There you go. Yes. There you go. Thinking inside outside of the box. <laughs> outside of the circle. Outside of the circle, yes. BC Creations says, when are we going to sit? When are you going to sell the Hive Bee glue holder? That is coming, uh, I believe, next week. We'll also make an announcement on our next live, so come back for the official announcement then. Um, also, uh, C4 Jingona says, yes, Rally Arts has some amazing free files. Yay. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, so the uh, the holders here, we have the cactus up here. We have the beehive too. That's magically somewhere else right now. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, there's a little piece of foam in the bottom of this, and it keeps your glue ready to go. So you don't have to keep putting your pin back in it. And it also has a place to hold your pin. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that. Yeah, Look right there, magnet. a little magnet. Hold your pin for you right there. And by pure luck and magic, we actually have the beehive right there. Look at that. And so I actually enjoy the beehive. I need too. one. Yes. Absolutely. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> We've got plenty. So the beehives and the cactuses are part of our Friends of Barely Art program. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, Whimsical Wishes US are the ones that are doing these designs and are selling it on our website, barely.art. So just yes. heads up for everyone out there. It's not officially a Barely Art product, but a friend of Barely Art product. Yes. So if you know someone who sells their own product, crafting uh, supplies or other such things, let them know about Friends of Barely Art yes. and uh, give them our email. What should, what should email should they send it to? Uh, they can either just message us on our website or they can send it to, um, I think it's sir, service? Support? Support. Support, okay. Support at barely.art. Yeah. You'll get a hold of a shell slayer. All right, here's your piece back. Ah, thank you. Oops. <laughs> Oops, actually, I need that piece back again. Okay. I didn't press on it. I should have pressed on it first. <laughs> You're going to get mine stuck in there, aren't you? No, I'm not going to keep you stuck mm -hmm. in here. Where's Anne from the Useless Crafter? Come back. Tell Jeremy to keep his hands on his own craft. I am crafting. <laughs> crafting is for sharing. Sharing is for crafting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, so what's the next step while Jeremy's taking my pieces away? There. Well, he's <laughs> done. And bam, look at that. Beautiful. There we go. Well, this is where you really can, you know, it's up to you how you want to go about with the assembly. I personally, this is how I want to assemble it. I'm going to add. I'm going to add. I have to remove the plastic on this, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to add the acetate from the inside, and then I'm going to use my glitter to hide my tabs. Ah, but if see, you feel more comfortable mm -hmm. gluing your acetate to your glitter and then mm -hmm. sealing it off like that, you're more than welcome. However you feel I comfortable. See. Got it. All right. So we're going to do all sorts of different layering techniques here. So I'm going to glue mine back here just because we're missing but one I... little piece. No worries. Don't mind I'm us. I'm going to go no, you guys are doing great. I mean, this is it's not a super complicated mm -hmm. project, but it has its challenges and you guys have overcome them. Yes, we have. We're keeping our overcoming of our challenges. I remember the first time that we were on, there we had some uh, challenges, not because of you or anything, because of my inexperience of uh, how great you guys are at crafting. <laughs> I remember going, wow, these projects are awesome, but I need some practice. Yes. So I think that after uh, the years have gone by, uh, I've gotten much, much better at this. We're learning. We're learning. It's a learning opportunity. You guys were yeah. baby crafters. Now you guys are yes. in your toddler era. Yeah, yes, exactly. that's exactly how I feel. I was just like, I used to craft when I, I mean, I do craft like at home and then I start working here and I'm like, oh yeah, I can craft. And I was like, oh, 
this is a different kind of crafting. This is a different level. There is a and so I was just like, I gotta learn fast. And that's the thing, though, is if you guys could teach us, then anyone can do it. Yes, agreed. <laughs> right. Now, now I'm just adding a light pressure. I always want to be. I mean, as careful as possible when working with acetate, it is like yes. the most sensitive material ever. Exactly. There we go. Okay, right. so let me translate Bam. really quick in Spanish while you guys do your assembly. Mm -hmm. Perfect. En esta parte, ustedes pueden decidir cómo lo quieren armar. Yo personalmente prefiero pegar el acetato aquí al papel porque me va a dar un... un... ¿Cuál sería la palabra? Una um, Se va a pegar mucho mejor con el papel, así todo, en vez de con las tiras. Pero si ustedes se sienten más cómodas pegando el acetato al glitter y después eso en una pieza encima, también lo pueden hacer. Como ustedes prefieran. There we go. Oh, Now, sorry. an extra little step that I always like to do is when I'm working with glitter, uh, with the exception of gold, I always go with Sharpie here. It's already done for us, but just to show you guys. And that way, when you put it on, because mm. it's white backdrop and black glitter, there's going to be I a big see, contrast yes. in the colors. Mm -hmm. So I that see. way, That's a good you hide tip. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I like that. It's a good tip. It's a good tip. Also have oh. lots of little pieces stuck. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing? Any questions? All good. I think, I think I'm doing pretty good right I now. I think we're good, actually. Got our little piece ready to go. I'm just the surprise in the voices. Like, yeah. We're actually, <laughs> we're actually yeah. We're I keep, like, good. falling behind a little bit. I'm just like, ah, I got to catch up. And um, when I do that, a lot of times, like, maybe you can't tell Karen, but the craft comes out, eh, kind of wonky. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so this was turning out way better. <laughs> No, no worries. You no got rush it. here. You got this <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Oh, okay. So okay. now I'm going to just peel off my lid with the glitter. Perfect. Como le estaba diciendo. Oops, sorry. Just a little bit here. Let's drop the hot glue again. <laughs> Don't mind me. Uh oh. Now we're good. Oh, yes. Great, great point, Jeremy. Turn on your glue guns. <laughs> oh. yes, okay, yes. Got, it, got it ready to go. Yeah. Full fired up and stick into everything. Yes, yes, yes. Like a pork hole. Yes. Si no han encendido sus pegas calientes, enciéndanlas ahora porque las vamos a necesitar con nuestra lucecita. Y como yo les estaba diciendo a ellos um, hace ratito, cuando usan glitter con la excepción de glitter gold, ustedes quieren tapar la parte blanca del papel del lado o de atrás con el color que están usando. En este caso yo usé Sharpie negro. Entonces ven que no se ve ningún contraste de negro a blanco anaranjado porque todo ahora se ve negro hasta que estopa el anaranjado. Si usan glitter rojo, usen Sharpie rojo. Glitter azul, Sharpie azul. We're almost there, you guys. Cool. 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 There's pumpkins too. I think. There's pumpkins. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. pumpkin. Thank you. Some gold. Okay. Cool. <laughs> It's our Halloween pumpkin. <laughs> Hope you're peeking. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now this is an extra little piece that um, I like to add to hide the union. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't even include it. We didn't include it in the file because we always use our scraps and just use the paper guillotine uh, so to cut see. them out. Very nice. Very and then nice. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around to hide oh, that union. Now, very touch. important. With that's this box, touch. you want mm -hmm. your union. You guys want you want some time to cut a strip really quick? Uh, no, that's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we're trying to finish. <laughs> Go right ahead. Okay, then I'll just skip over it. But just to let you guys know, whenever you're 
adding these little strips. You want your yeah. unions to always be in the same location or in the same oh, spot, better said. That makes sense. And yes. for this box, both your unions are going to be in the middle. Mm, I see. Rather okay. than top so and wherever, bottom. So wherever that piece is right there, mm -hmm. then that's where you need to be at. So <clears throat> you can keep it right there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See on the left and then on the right. There's our union. There are unions. Got it. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So I'll go ahead and skip over that then. I don't want to add un unnecessary time. So we're mm -hmm. going to go ahead and get to the fun part and make it a shaker. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to so me. So now <laughs> we'll need our layers. Okay. Got our layers. Bam. Remember Bam. your unions, middle. Unions, middle. Mm hmm. Okay, so you're going to add it from the top and push it down. Of course, you're going to add your glue, but I just want to show you guys. Right. So you can add your glue here to make it easier rather than here mm -hmm. so you don't get mm -hmm. any smudges. Right. And then just push it down. Make sure right. your seams or your unions are in the middle. Got it. Okay. I'm going to do a fit check real quick. Ooh. I need to cut a little bit. My yellow was slightly off. I need to do a little bit of some adjustment. Some trimming. Some trimming. Some, trimming. some light <laughs> trimming. And pruning. Yes, we're also florists now. <laughs> a little bit there. All right. There we go. It's just like a little This is where you know if you've got it or not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. This is the step. This is the stage right there. Let me move yes. it over just a uh -huh. little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, good. there we go. Okay. Um, Apply some pressure. Boom. It fell in there so so well. I know, right? I'm so proud of myself. I know. So did you put a <laughs> bit of foam on that one or no? Or just glued straight to it? Straight to our lid. No yeah. more foam. No more foam. All right, in that case, there, there we go. The glue, and I forgot to put the glue into the glue holder, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ahora lo que van a hacer es van a agregar sus layers que han hecho anteriormente adentro del tapón. Recuerden que siempre tienen que entrarlo por la parte de arriba y les recomiendo que pongan la pega en el tapón, no en sus layers para que cuando lo peguen no manchen el acetato ni nada, sino que simplemente lo ponen. Tiene que ser un fit justo, no muy grande, no muy apretado, con un poquito de presión se les va a bajar. Y la unión siempre tienen que estar en el medio, no de arriba ni de abajo, sino que de lado al lado. Y listo. Oh, There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Cute. All right, okay. Got that piece all snug. Snug as a bug and rug. All right. Okay. So now we're going to get our glitter. Yay! I have it separated. <laughs> <laughs> I got Halloween confetti yeah. and clay sprinkles and glitter. Lots of glitter. All here. Everything's here. Who's that? Okay. Little bats. Oh, we're look at them. I have a mix from Buttons Galore, mm -hmm. my um, oh, Diamond Dots, and then from Target as well. Cool. I don't know if you guys. Very know. nice. I like that. So cute. Got a lot. All right. Yes. But we're not going to add that just yet. We're just okay. getting ready. <laughs> we <have> to... <laughs> I like to get away from you guys. <laughs> Dang it. So close. We are okay. going to work on the final piece right mm -hmm. here. I forgot about that part. Yeah. Put that aside. And you know, Jeremy knows the drill. <laughs> yep, I, I know it. I know it now. Take her down. Like Take her down. Do a little curvy curve. Curvy curve. Mm -hmm. And then fold her stuff in. Backwards. Hmm? Backwards. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah, as long as the other two are the same, I guess. Yeah. Gotcha. Bring All this stuff going. 
Okay. Now this one doesn't have markers. You're going to base yourself off of the triangle, the base mm, of the triangle. Okay. I see, I see. Yeah. So you're just kind of lining up the edges of the triangle there. I see. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. When it's that, when it's that small. Yeah, it gets a little trickier. Yes. A little bit there. Like so. So they're handy dandy clothespins. Mm, this is when fear kicks in and you're scared you're gonna ruin it. This is when fear kicks fear in. kicks in. Be fearless. Nah, you're good. We even had a comment on here that said Adriana is a great teacher. And I was like, I agree. No, I'm sorry, excellent teacher. Love to take classes with her. Oh. And uh, I agree. Oh, thank great you. And do you have any upcoming classes there? Uh yes, we actually do. We're working on our Christmas classes. We wanted to get Very ahead nice. of the head of the train. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, um... Very nice. Yes, so and Christmas of course, you guys are coming. welcome to join I know yes we would love <laughs> we'd love to for sure loved it i liked our last one with the where you used the the one i went to was not the last one it was a long time ago actually but the one where i went to and you used the card mechanism to make your project move it's been on my mind yes. ever since i saw it i like, <laughs> need to do it it's the coolest gotta thing do it. gotta do it there we go. Yes, yes. We don't like working with like wires or like welding mm -hmm. or any of that. Yeah. Like, I personally right. find it a little bit of a hazard. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, hot glue. Um, and I'm not an engineer that. by any means. <laughs> All right. So, we got that piece there. We even have mashing clothespins. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Right. Now here, we're going to mix it a little bit. We're mm -hmm. going to add our acetate. Now you might need to bring over this piece because mm -hmm. this acetate piece has the circle for our light. Gotcha. So you might want to center it. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go, the little circle is going to go right here in the middle of the house in between the two windows. Oh, I see. Let me bring it closer. That's cool. Mm hmm Right there. Perfect. That's where our light goes. Light goes there. I see. Okay, now that we've measured it, we're going to go ahead and take it out. I just wanted you guys to see that we have to keep that in mind. Gotcha. Awesome. And then I have plastic covering on my acetate. Wait, does it go in the window, right? Or in the... Yes. Or right where that hole is. Okay. So it goes in the window. Got it. Okay. Now, if you want, you can also insert this here mm -hmm. and place the acetate like that as well. Gotcha. Oh, okay, that's what I was trying to get. Mine doesn't fit. Oh, no. I really Yours doesn't fit? I don't know. You got it. Where's it going? Gotcha. There we go. Okay. Keep in mind, we have unions on this one as well, so those have to line up on the mm -hmm. middle. Oh, I see. I see. Wait, it it does fit. Oh, wow, it just fits really well. That's what's going on. Exactly. That's perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Very snug. All right, all right. Yeah. So we got all that. Okay. Got that all fitting like so. I haven't added glue yet. I just mm -hmm. want to insert this piece here. There we go. Just make okay. sure. See? Perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Very nice. Okay. And now... I can go ahead and very carefully, it's a little bit tricky, but it's it's going to make it easier for your alignment. Mm -hmm. Add the glue on your tabs. Yes. I need a line. I think I made it to the line here. Made a line? I made a line instead of doing the tab. Oh, that works. Well, I'll do it slightly differently from each other and see what comes and out. See. <laughs> so I'm going to do something which, else. Which uh, method was this? <laughs> Honestly, whatever floats your boat. It's what all about that crafting. Whatever works. <laughs> whatever works. Exactly. Whatever works as long as it fits. Exactly. Exactly. Right, so I've got this nice little hazard piece. 
me clean my acetate really quick. Mm-hmm. So that's something we could have done, but we did not. But yes, tell them about uh, <laughs> cleaning acetate, right? So when you clean the acetate, what happens there? When you clean the acetate, you get rid of the static. So that extra fine glitter, if you add to your shakers, won't stick to it. Yes. And so you won't have such a wonky, like where it all sticks together. Yeah, that was like one of the like one of the best tricks when we learned it. We're like, oh. Yo, yeah. Wow, we... I'll never forget going on the <laughs> exactly. live, putting the acetate over the glitter, and you could hear the, <laughs> the static of the glitter getting on there. Mm-hmm. Hey, maybe <laughs> now that it's winter time, all the static would just get on me instead. Maybe. <laughs> My method was not working for various reasons. <laughs> I'm going to see what happens next. All right. All right, so no, okay. don't do it like me. Just listen to the teacher. No lines. There we go. And now very carefully, me, because I have to be extra complicated, once I've placed it, I can go ahead and take it out and apply that pressure. But I know that I have my placing right. Gotcha. Okay, let's see if mine comes out with me or not. I think I glued mine on the opposite side, but that's okay. There we go. Come on out. I was so close, Come and now this is all making such a mess. We go. Okay. This part's also a little tricky. Mm-hmm. All right. All good there. Give me now. Give me some time to catch up. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Yeah, I ended up gluing mine on the other side, so we'll find out what happens. I did mine <laughs> poorly. <laughs> poorly. It's just oh, poorly. it's all shaped weird. I was so close huh? to having all good circles. Now look at this. What is this? It's an oblong. <laughs> it's oblong of shape. <laughs> it looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, that's not right. But like not a circular pumpkin. Like a pumpkin you sat on. <laughs> she sat on your pumpkin? It looks like I sat on a pumpkin. Some kind of a weird fall thing I'm not familiar with. I don't know if you're pumpkin sat- sitting. I have to add a little bit more glue on mine. Mm-hmm. This is so wrong. <laughs> I was, I was like, I'll be like, oh, look at these beautiful circles I have. And now it's just... Something... <laughs> So bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna Got try this a different way. Got I'm gonna this. just keep messing with it until hopefully something works. Got this. Alrighty. Okay, give me one second. I'm still battling my acetate here. No worries. Me no too. Worries. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Andrew? Oh my gosh! You all right? She made it look so easy. <laughs> I'm breaking the tab. That's what's going on right now. Yeah, it's okay because remember we still have this piece here, and this is going to hide those tabs. Gotcha. Oh great! Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> might be missing it. I think we're missing we're a couple missing. pieces. Yeah. Just y'all it's focus on uh, Adriana. It's all good. Right Giving here, yeah. See, that's pieces. what I'm doing too. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yes. The hiding pieces. The hidey hole pieces. Okay. The hiding pieces. So <laughs> now that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and add glue on the acetate. Okay. So that I can add that mm-hmm. little You're rim. covering that piece there, yeah. And then it's called shaker inside. Shaker inside. Very nice. And insert it right in. Gosh. My wooden dowel. Wow. This is a very nice shaker, though. It's beautiful when done right. <laughs> oh. Detect yeah, some definitely sass in still, there. Definitely still a, a toddler crafter. Toddler I definitely crafter. feel like in my toddler. <laughs> Like a, a slightly older toddler, advanced craft toddler. right now. Pants <laughs> toddler, yes. Maybe I just didn't make the donut piece. 
feel like I did that part. What did you... <laughs> Here, let me finish okay. gluing and then I can show you how I did it, but I don't want my shaker lid to fall apart on yes, me Yes, exactly. <laughs> like mine. I'm going to glue a little extra. Got this. And it's fine. You, you, it's fine. <laughs> you know what? My mom would still be proud of me. She would still think it's cool, so it's fine. It's still cool. It's still cool. We <laughs> 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 got a C fourteen going. Says you can do it. <laughs> you got it. You got it. I think. I think it's I good. If I don't touch it anymore, it might. It might work. What's that song? I believe I can fly. We're gonna change. I, I believe I can fly. I, can fly. <laughs> I believe I can crash tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. <laughs> All right. Okay. So after you got um, that piece in there, what are we I'm got? still adding more glue here okay. on mine. Yeah, no worries. Fabulous. Why Fabulous. Not Fabulous. Add a little bit more. So I'm gonna stop touching. Let me translate. Oops, Let me translate in Spanish really quick. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. As I do this, okay, chicas. Ahora para el tapón, igual que hemos hecho con los dos círculos anteriores, unir las dos uniones y vamos a primero, en vez de colocar un pedazo de cartulina, colocar el acetato. Después de que colocamos el acetato, vamos a colocar por la parte de adentro este último ring. Recuerden que la textura siempre tiene que estar visible y ahora vamos a poner presión. Okay. I have this one little piece here that does. Okay, there we go. It would. It didn't want to glue. Now I'm gonna clean my acetate. Yeah, here's my penny. <laughs> <laughs> All clean. All clean. All clean. It is not. Oh, it doesn't. Kind of stick. My acetate is fighting me on this one. It does not want to glue. Mm. There we go. It's He's too little. <laughs> it's a little bit finicky. Got it. Yeah, I think you I've got, got it. Man. You got this. We'll see when it's you got it. You got it. <laughs> If, if you guys at home can't tell the difference between Jeremy's, who seems to have done this part right, and mine, who has seemed to have done everything wrong in this part, then what's it really matter? <laughs> yes, it's, it's just, we have two of us so that we can double the chances of succeeding. There you go. Or failing. But succeeding. <laughs> Teamwork. One out of the two. <laughs> exactly, yeah. We have a higher chance of one of us actually getting it. Yes. Close to it. We got this. Easy. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Okay, good. Yeah, so too. now we have our <laughs> lid here, and now we're gonna go ahead and add our glitter. Got it. The fun part. Yeah, yes. exactly. Take that off there. Okay. I'm gonna go crazy and just dump it all in. Yes. Go for it. Da -da 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 -da. Oops. Go in. Okay. Go in, bats. Come on, buddy. Sprinkle them in. Yes, can do the. <laughs> what is the the salt salt bay salt bay or whatever yes. salt bay channel your inner yes. salt bay salt pour bay. the glitter in just <laughs> extra salt bay going that's on that's going everywhere <laughs> <laughs> wow that's terrible we shouldn't do that don't do that don't recommend it don't recommend not it not at all it's okay you just gotta tap it a little bit make sure it's all there I'm gonna be wearing glitter for the rest of the night mm. oh <laughs> We're almost at these clay pumpkins. No, we need some more. Mm. All right. Okay. Dump all that in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drop all the goods. Mm -hmm. yeah, I almost dropped the oh, I almost dropped all of it. I dropped it's all okay. of it. I didn't. I didn't. Almost all right. Good. There we go. Oh, spider. Spider. How about you? Stay with me, buddy. <laughs> Stay with me, buddy. <laughs> it looks so cute. There we go. Okay, got all the glitter in there. Okay. Now for this step, you are going to need a few more cloth pins to make okay. it easier on you. Got a few. Okay. Uh, Let me take mine out. 
when we add that final piece that's going to seal off our shaker, it's very important mm -hmm. that you keep in mind that we're not gluing to the base here. We're gluing to the edges here. So our edges have to be perfectly aligned. So we're not going to sink in the lid. Come again. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Yes, yes. Okay. So rather than sinking it all the way in, when you add this piece in here, you're going to make sure that it stays aligned to this piece, to the base. Oh, okay, see? to the top of that. Yeah. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay, so we're giving it some room, not pressing it all the way down. Right. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Understood. So we leave that room. So just making sure that that part, okay, so we're aligning this to this, not pressing down on it, right? Right, correct. Got it. Okay. So I think it's easier if you add the glue onto the rim here rather mm -hmm. than on the insert, because if you add it on the insert, it's going to smear all over. I see. Yes. Yes. Okay. So in that case, we'll follow your lead on that. So I guess a little thin glue because we're going to be moving it around a little bit, right? Yeah, a little goes a long way in this step here. Okay. Just a little bit. There we go. It's already pretty tight, which is good. Okay. Okay. Got it glue. Now I'm uh, going to insert it little by little. Okay. Place this little down. by little. Line that up. So and then, we're making sure we're lining it up to that window, right? Yes. And then just add pins throughout. Okay. Perfect. Perfectly aligned. Oh, I ran out. <laughs> no worries. We have magically appeared more pins, too. <laughs> the magic helpers. The magic helpers. Yes. Like little elves. Yeah, like little elves. There we go. So this is what it should look like. And in the meantime, while that dries, we're going to go ahead and get our little square. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're going to add it right on top of our circular cut on the acetate. Okay. Let's take a little square of the hole in it. And we just put him right on top there. So what is he doing? Is he just kind of blocking? So when you add hot glue to the acetate, it tends to like um wet, like I would say melt oh, kind of. Oh, I see. And yeah. it adds a texture. So that piece protects our acetate, but still allows us to add our little light. I see. I see. Also, I misaligned my light a little bit, but that's okay, because he's going inside of this window instead. <laughs> no worries. Gabby says, Jamie, no I think you're missing worries. a piece. Yes, we are. Yes, you we are, are correct. Correct. We are missing, we're missing one piece. <laughs> and okay. and RT Pass says, don't be nervous. You are doing great. Thank you. Exactly. You're doing great. There we go. Give it some time to dry. Uh oh. Um, what oh, happened? He, he, he's, his glitter came out because he had a hole right there. Oh. It all came out through the hole. Oh. I think that was from a salt bay problem. So not... Oh, that might have been from a salt bay thing. Yeah, a little. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I just. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. So now we can take out our pins. And in the meantime, I will translate. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Okay, chicas, después de que hayan agregado su tapita, se van a fijar que, como les dije, hay un corte aquí para la luz del globo. Antes de pegar la luz del globo directamente, ustedes van a querer poner este cuadrito que está en el fallo encima del acetato, porque eso va a prevenir que su acetato se derrita con el, el calor de la pega caliente. Otra cosa muy importante, cuando agreguen este tapón, les recomiendo que pongan la pega alrededor, no en el inserto, porque eso va a ser un desorden. Es más fácil ponerlo alrededor y poco a poco ir bajando el inserto. Con el inserto no lo empujen hasta abajo. Quieren que este 
estas piezas aquí alineen perfectamente bien, base a base. No empujen, sino que base a base. Y pueden usar estos clipsitos para mantenerlo en lugar y mantener esa presión para que no se caiga. Newton. All right. Okay, how are you guys doing? Good. Looking good, and the craft is too. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry about that missing piece. You can add it on later on. Oh, yeah, we can just kind of glue it in. That should be yeah. fine. All right, so far, that's what we got. It's looking good. This is what it looks like. Yeah, it's up there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't mind coming out somewhere too. <laughs> I think I've covered my bases now. All right, there we go. Our lights, little sparkles. Okay. okay. Gabby, now. Said, rookie mistake, hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> All right, <laughs> balloon light. Our color changing balloon light. Look at Ooh. that. It's a little bit hard to see. Here, let's see my hand. Okay, there we okay. go. Now. The easiest part of the entire project, adding the balloon light. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to use hot glue. Mm -hmm. A little goes a long way here as well. Mm -hmm. so Add it onto bit. our little square rather than our balloon light. Got it. Makes sense. There we go. And then I like to level my lights out. I don't like just throwing them on. I want to mm -hmm. make sure that they look good. So it's leveled perfectly horizontal. And before I shake it, I want to let my glue dry because it annoys me personally when I shake it and the glue, <laughs> the glitter gets stuck on the glue. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. And then here's Passing. our shaker. Nothing should spill. Mm -hmm. A little bit to dry. And hey, final look test. at that. Final test to know if you did it right or wrong. All right. I want my union. Not too line. bad. I put mine in a little bit of a different position, but it still looks pretty good to me. No worries. <laughs> before we burn ourselves. It was oh, yes. part part of it. Exactly. Positioning. There we go. And there it is. Share my union. Melanie and there's our says, shaker what box. kind of light is that? Very it is a nice. balloon light. It is balloon light, guys. There we go. And then you can really make it your own if you want to add more strips throughout. Right. If you want to add a strip right here rather mm -hmm. than over here, you can by all Extra means. Stuff. Make it yours. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And presto, there it is. The treat box. Got ears. Did they come out good? They yeah. They came out there you great. Go. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! Oh, it's so cute. Hmm? Oh. Look at that! Ta -da! <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, we had the black light over there. If you want to switch out mm -hmm. the plugs? What? I don't oh. know if we'll be able to see very much, but we can try. I mean, we can try. Oh, light. <laughs> We put so we used um some like fluorescent -y, like the or for the yellow and orange to try uh -huh. and make it really bright with a black light. We might not be able to tell very much because we're in the light right now, but we're gonna give it a right. shot and see what it looks like. Let me flip you guys over so I can see a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> this see. is what it looks it's supposed like. to kind of glow. A little hard to tell. Oh yes. But let me bring it closer. And then if you put it on here, it's kind of glowing. Harder to tell yeah, in the light because there's a lot of light here, but that's the gist of but it. But even with the black cardstock, it makes it purpley. So even yeah, exactly, on that, yeah. it looks great. Yeah. Just on Not the black bad. cardstock. <laughs> no. Perfect. <laughs> Yay. We did All right. it. Exactly. We did do it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Oh, that's so cute. All righty. Mm -hmm. Yes, this live will be saved on our YouTube, Barely, uh, Barely Art on YouTube. Thank you guys. Hello, lots of hearts. Love it. Hermosa, muchas gracias. Super cute. 
and many, 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 many hearts. <laughs> lots of love, lots of hearts. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Adriana. This was a really cool craft. I oh, really man, like this it. This is really good. I yes. want to put stuff inside. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's so many things that we could do with this now. Oh, yep. You can keep it just as a circular um, shaker box. Or you can just, you can make it a K-topper even if you want. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, cool. absolutely. Yeah, you can just take that whole section and then add it however you want. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> it's a good project. <laughs> All, right. Thank you. All right. All right. So we're about to, uh, thank you for joining us. We're about to sign off. But before we do, Adriana, do you remember we told you before the live started how you're going to sign us off? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. All right. All right do it one more time. We're going to do it with you. All right. Okay. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.